Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash, Barakat Thumb, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right. Just a quick lesson on the road headed to camp right now, about an hour and a half away. Uh, but I wanted to touch on. Um, a video I had just watched and brothers are making very great points uh, basically about what is there left in Babylon to obtain okay what, what is there left like what are, what are we what is there the desire you know what I mean if you're a man of the Lord man you're in this truth and you've been in it you, you should be living like a basic type lifestyle or basic life where yeah you wake up and you kind of do the same thing every day you know what I mean whether it's you go to work you do the work you read you do what you do as a father and you just repeat you know what I mean? Then we're gonna say Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. You know what I mean? We don't we don't we don't desire us stunting and for stunting on our people. We all fucked up anyway. We all poor. We all fucking broke. Just because you got a little money don't mean shit. The money fake anyway. It's Fayette money. Okay, none of this shit means anything. It can crash at any point. And then what do you really have to prove all the hard work you've done? Nothing. The real the real desire the real goal. The real winning, the real prize in this society is knowing this truth. Is knowing that you are Hebrew Israelites, all right, from whatever tribe, and you know the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The rest of this shit doesn't matter, guys. It don't matter. Okay? Don't matter how many cars you had, don't matter how many women you fucked, don't matter how many women you have, okay? Don't matter how much money you have, don't matter how much money you make. Cause at the end of the end, it's none of it's gonna matter. Okay, the, the, the stability shall be the knowledge and wisdom. Okay, so if you don't have the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, then you're fucked. Your little hundred thousand dollars that you make, or little sixty, fifty thousand that you got saved, and your last little cars and your houses and your woman not gonna be delivering you in the day of temptation, not gonna be delivering you in the day of destruction. Okay, so at the end of the day, end of the day, it don't mean shit. I just our real reward should be this truth. Should be every day seeking out this truth. Should be seeking this knowledge. Should be seeking out by Shemiah Bashai. Should be repenting. Should be fasting. Should be praying. And just trying to walk as it as as Yahweh Shai walked when he walked the world. When he walked the earth. Just trying to be an upright, godly man. You know? Not trying to be no dickhead of nobody, just being polite, being a gentleman, being, you know, I'm not saying be a yes man, never be a yes man, but you know, be nice, man. When you're the light of the world, you can light a lot of shit up. Okay? You 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 can light dark, dark places up. Alright? You always just see a soft answer turn away wrath. Alright? Being in the know of who you are. That 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 boosts brother's confidence. Okay? When you know the truth, what can really phase you? Can't nothing really throw you off or, or, off, you know? Can't nothing really throw you off because you you walking like you already know what's up. We already know what's up. We already know what was, what is, and what's to come. What what, what do we gotta worry about? Just be content with what you have. The world and the people in the world are greedy. They keep wanting more and more and more and more. You're making 80,000, now you want to make 100. You're making 100, now you want 120. You're making 120, now you want 150. You're making 150, now you want two. That, that's the ways of the world. Just be content with what you have. You got enough money to be able to uh, pay your rent, provide for your kids, get groceries, pay the bills, maybe even have a little extra money to go shopping here and there, go out to eat, buy some things you like. But outside of that, man, we don't have, we don't have no desires to be rich. We don't have no desire to be famous. We don't have no desire to be known. We don't have no desires to want to be uh, rich and famous. No desires to want to be um, uh, 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 the top celebrity in the fucking world. No desire to be on the Forbes uh, uh, magazine and be one of the young, youngest, richest guys in, in America. We have no desire to be in the world, guys. We have no desire to do anything that the world cares about. When we're when I, men of the Lord are supposed to be different. We're supposed to desire knowledge and wisdom. Okay. We already go through a lot of shit spiritually, man. All we want at the end of the day is peace. We want peace. We don't want no fucking Eve. When we come home, we gotta come home. We gotta fight our woman. All right. We don't. We don't. We don't want to be dealing with this shit, man. Me personally, I'm I'm like a loner. I deal with people in my business, but outside of that, man, I'm really to myself. If I'm not with my kids, I'm really to myself. All right. I don't. It, it, to me, it, everything is just it's, it's no other way. I do the same thing damn near every day. You know. It's just, you know, just being consistent with it and just trying to go hard every day. You know, just taking it day by day. All right, the Lord woke you up. Hey, it's the time to get better. It's the time to, you know, overcome the man that you used to be. 
okay? Putting off that, that worldly man more and more so that you don't even know who that is anymore, all right? And just becoming a stronger person. We don't desire the things of this world. This world's fake. We don't We don't want to be fake. We want to we wanna be different. We want to be real. Like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're real. He's, he and his father are real, all right? We don't want to follow after the gods of this world. We don't want to follow after the people of this world. We don't desire the things of the world. We desire the things of the scriptures. We desire the new kingdom to come. We desire these new bodies, these new bodies that we're going to get. We desire the, the, the chariots. We desire these planets and these different galaxies. All right? We don't desire uh, owning houses and buying cars and making a certain amount of money. That's not a, that's not desirable unto us because we know we're way more than that. They can't put a price on who we are. All right, This is Esau's way of living, Esau's way and his standards. All right, No amount of money can uh, replace a Hebrew Israelite, especially one that's in the know, that's in the truth, that's doing the work. All right, this shit is priceless. You can't put a price on it. Okay? So that's the things we desire. We desire the things that can't be bought. We desire the things that are out of this world that you really can't see or touch, that you can just, it's, it's just a feel, it's a spirit, it's just a no. You know? The things we desire, we told worldly people, regular people, they looked at us like we nuts. Yeah, I desire this world to be destroyed. Yeah, I desire Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to come back and to uh, light this world with fire. Yeah, I desire to be on the, uh, of the elect men. 144,000 chosen men. Yeah, I desire to be in a chariot. Yeah, I desire to be uh, delivered. Yeah, I desire for my for my uh, loved ones and my kids to be delivered. Yeah, we desire to be in the kingdom. Like we don't desire nothing in this world. I don't even really set goals. Any, I haven't know remember last time I set goals. Maybe when I was in the world. I don't even set goals. I don't care about how much money I make. I don't care about none of this shit, man. I, I don't even set goals or nothing. I just kind of wake up and go about the day and just try to be great. Give all thanks to Yahweh Shem Yahweh and try to just do do. As he sees fit for me, you know, and every day I'm growing in the spirit. I'm growing in this in, in, in my mind, and I'm getting better, and I'm learning, and I'm becoming more wiser. I'm becoming more mature. I'm, I'm starting to understand what really matters and what really doesn't, and that comes with wisdom. That comes with knowledge. That comes with experience. That comes with time. All right, the older you get, you start to realize the shit that you thought mattered five years ago doesn't matter. The shit you cared about five years ago, you don't care about no more, and that's part of leveling up and getting better. All right, but in order to do that, you have to separate yourself from the minds of the world. That's what the scripture said. Um, uh, renew your mind by the transnewing by the by the transnewing of your mind. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You're supposed to renew your mind. Okay, so we have nothing to desire in this world. We desire for this world to be destroyed and for us to be delivered. Okay, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and have taught me this truth. And Saitis out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. So you all like to say, Shalom.